welcome to another fun, fabulous episode of The Stew. I am Les. I'm Janae. And I'm Fern. Hey, Fern. And hey. Fern is our featured co-host for another wonderful episode. Yes. So we're going to get right into it. Lots happening on the local front. But um, my goodness, people are up in arms because we have another slate of foreigners coming to the country. Is that the Dominicans. what I'm yeah. yeah. I, uh, I'm happy about it, I must say. I think, you know, lend a helping hand. Yes. We've had Hurricane Irma come through the Caribbean, mm -hmm. Hurricane Maria. I mean, these countries need help. Yeah. Yes. Now, definitely, I want to see what's in the fine print because you know how we could run right out. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's only Caribbean nations coming together to help each other. Mm -hmm. So I am completely excited about it. And I, I really have to echo your sentiments because you never know. You just never know when that coin is going to flip. Just watching the comments, reading the comments on social media, uh -huh. as well as listening to the head of the Bahamas um, Teachers Union, yeah. as well, Miss. Bel uh, Belinda Wilson had caught a piece of the news where she was expressing concerns in terms of the government having not really provided all the information. Right. For example, this uh, invite, I understand, has been extended to students. Yes. And right now, the local teachers don't know the ages of these students, the gender of these students, what their academic level is, if parents or other teachers will be accompanying them. I understand so that. So from the case. that perspective, I totally understand why there are so many concerns. I think if you but give it a few more days, they will be able to iron it out. We just have to trust. Yeah. And just wait and see. Well, anyway. We want to see the fine print. That's what we're saying. Y'all, <laughs> speaking of governments and, you know, con leaders of countries Craziness. that get themselves in a stew. Silliness. So Donald Trump has done it once again. Uh, but now it seems though as though he's feuding with all of the sports yeah. and the athletes not all, out not there. Not all, not all. The, the NHL. Yeah, no, the, the NHL, NHL said they'll still come to the White House, but. Yeah. Oh, and well. actually I think NASCAR too. NASCAR <laughs> did tell their drivers that if they even miss and think about kneeling during right. any but, um, but national you know, anthem there. But you know, ain't much of a color is be driving them cars. So, <laughs> so that's a gone. completely, <laughs> but let's just face it, that's what it's all about. Donald Trump wants to kind of feud with, uh, as my, I, he has no filter. No. So no. at the end of the day, anybody that comes up against him, instead of he be the kind of bigger person and say, why don't we talk this out privately, mm -hmm. he wants yeah. to take to, Twitter. he just want to take yes. to everything. I yeah. mean, look, uh -huh. he's having a fight with North Korea at the flicking moment. Yeah. Come on, you know, like who know. does this? I've said it before and I will say again. Donald Trump is the furthest thing from presidential that you can go, that you can get. He has no tact. He has absolutely no decorum. None. And I hope the Americans that did put him in power realize what a mistake they have yes. made. It's all a distraction. It's yeah. my, yeah. my humble opinion. There's a because big. There's something big happening. Of course. And everything's being distracted by. Right. Because it's all silliness. Do you think the argument that they are really he's trying to just erase Obama out of the whole history because it's like everything Obama does, he yeah, did, he's trying he's to trying undo. To undo. Yeah. Well, and I mean, he, he doesn't have, have a plan. It. He would have done it to Hillary. He would have done it to anybody yeah. that was, a, he's yeah. just that type of person. Right. We yeah. got to take a break, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Our time has come and gone so quickly. But you know what? We have a great show in store for you, so don't you go anywhere. A little later on, we've got some special guests in house, oh, don't yeah, we, Oh, yeah, we got some pretty yeah. and pink ladies yeah. coming to join us. <laughs> so don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Stew. Now we're going to switch things up a little bit and we're going to play a little game amongst our co-hosts. That would be myself, Janae, and Fern. Mm. I will act as the mediator as we see which one of these ladies can actually top that. Ladies, you ready? Do you we think ready. you can top that? We got this. Yeah. I be topping tangs every day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. In my hand are number of cards, if you will, with different numbers on them. So mm -hmm. I'll just shovel, you know, let me just, uh, let me shovel these around. Shovel them. I'm, I'm shoveling these around, <laughs> right? 
Okay. Actually, you know what? It's fine because there are really no right or wrong answers here. Ten. But anyway, I have stumbled upon the number five. And you know Jenny. what? Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Fern has won the toss up. <laughs> so Fern is going to have to name five items, and we'll see if after that, Janae can top that with five or more. So, Fern, you're up first. Oh, where okay. are the judges? Where are the Fruits know? in the Bahamas, you have 20 seconds and go. Five fruits. Canap. Sour soft. Dilly. Mommy. Sea grapes. Okay. Good stuff. Within the 20 seconds. Yes, it is. And it's fruits found in the Bahamas. So, okay. you know, even if they come from somewhere else, Trying it's to top okay. That. I don't think but I you're going to have to do five or more and uh, some different stuff. You ready? Yeah. I'm okay. Ready. Here we go. Chene, start. Banana, cocoa palm, apple, straw. What Can apples? Find... We don't grow apples in the Bahamas. You it's find... okay, it's okay. You... Would you yeah. find it's found it in, in the, the Bahamas? Food store. Yeah. What did you find? I thought it's yes. gone. No, avocado, tomato, and um, let's say. Is she cheating? I think that's that's no, I'm yeah. not cheating. Four two. I think she's cheating. Why? It's supposed yeah. to be in the two four two. Like what? The avocado and tomato. Yeah, they're fruits. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so next up. It's a up, tie. It's a tie. How about different ways to prepare chicken? Oh, oh my no. favorite. Five favorite things. Food. You've got 20 seconds, and then you will have an opportunity to see if you can top that fern. And I don't know. And I, I cooked that go. Question. All right, so you can saute chicken, you can fry chicken, you can bake chicken. You can probably steam chicken, and then you can also can you stew chicken? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can yeah. stew chicken? You absolutely can. Ding, 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 ding. And you've mm -hmm. done it within 20 seconds. Wow. Now, Fern, can Man you top not. that? Different ways <sighs> to prepare chicken, five different other than what Janae has said. Yeah. No repeats. Did I mention that? Seems like I'm just making Man, these rules up as I go that's along. Hard, that's uh, hard. Man, I don't well, like then, Janae sure. might win that round. Do you forfeit? No, let me try. Let me try. Okay. 20 seconds. I got this. I got this. And go. Chicken sauce. Chicken. Baked chicken. You did? I think she did. Oh, yeah. okay. I retract. Time okay, is going. Okay, okay, okay. Chicken cardinal blue. Chicken soup. This is not fair. Um, chicken noodle soup, curry chicken. One more. A spinach. Sp chicken with spinach. I think, I think, time is up. Time I think is up. I think it's fried chicken too. <laughs> Marcy, I don't like it. I don't, you know, you always, you always saying of God. Always saying Who's right. the winner? <laughs> Okay. I think Fern would actually be our winner in all of this. <laughs> she was able to top that, so way to go, Fern. What I want, what I want, what I want. I'll let you know after the show, but mm. really, we're ladies. We're tied, we're tied. Mm -hmm. That no was won. just yeah. a little no, warm-up no, for I you. I won, I won. <laughs> to get you in gear for our next segment, because we have some fabulous ladies coming in. We gotta from break the tie. An yes. entertainment duplex here in our 242. Yeah. So stay tuned for that interview and a whole lot more. You are watching this. Don't want me be great. <laughs> Don't want me be great. and you're watching The Stew. So last year we spoke about breast cancer awareness and October is going to be Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it's just so fitting for us to have in studio Joya and Rika from Paint the Lanes at Mario's. Yeah. That's happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's a great event to shop, sip, do a little bit of some other things, um, but you'll only know if you attend the event. So they're here to tell us all about it. Tell us about breast cancer awareness, what they've experienced through this entire process, and we're so excited to have you. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So let's let's kind of kick it off. The event is this weekend, yeah. Saturday and Sunday at Mario's. Yeah. I've never personally been, but I want you to tell me all about it. Tell our viewers okay. what they can expect, what they can do. It's on Saturday. Um, we start on Saturday at three, from three to seven. Sunday is from 4 to 7. Um, we have over 60 vendors that sell 
a variety of stuff. Some persons would have been breast cancer survivors that are now giving back to the community, um, selling stuff, I guess, in aid of their medical finances. So, and it's only a dollar. The admission fee okay. is oh, okay. only a dollar. Nice. And we give the entrance fee back. I've been coming to this event for a few years, and honestly, it's a wonderful event. It's definitely a ladies' event. Bring yeah. all of the monies. All. Remember, <laughs> all of the proceeds go to a very worthy cause. Okay. Um, I'm so excited that you guys take this initiative, um, opening up your and shutting down your entire business yes. just to support this initiative. I'm so proud. Rika, tell me about your story. Let well, me know. I am a two-time breast cancer survivor. That's right. Yes, I survived stage three breast cancer. Wow. And I am now an advocate for cancer survivors. I am Rika. I am the Kira Cargill. You can follow me on Facebook. Yeah. And it's been six years that Mario's Bowling Alley has been doing this, Paint the Lanes Pink, and this is my third year being a part of it. Awesome. And all three years, I had an, a marvelous time. We have cancer survivors that come in, and they model, and they do their, you know, they do their thing, and they enjoy themselves. So this is a big thing for me. This is, you know, this is where my happiness lies, where I get to give to someone that is in need who's fighting this disease. That is super awesome because, I, you know, I know that you go through so many different body changes when you have oh, to yes. actually battle this disease. Gustin demon. Oh, I call yes. it a demon because I absolutely hate cancer. Mm -hmm. While it you does. were going through that, talk about that. Well, when I was actually going through cancer, I honestly, it didn't, I didn't let it get me down. Oh, that's so now that I've overcome it, I look at myself and I realize that it's really not my exterior right. that makes me, it's my interior. Oh, so even with the body changes, I believe that it's my interior which counts more. Mm -hmm. So all the other added stuff that we think we need, we don't necessarily need it. Wow. You know, it's life. You know, live your life. Love the life that you live. Uh, Pedaling back to the event this weekend. Yes. Um, so again, remind me what, uh, what to expect. When is it? Where is it? All that good stuff. Like I said before, we have over 60 vendors. I had to let people know that, listen, I can't take any more vendors, it's mm -hmm. no more space, it's no more room. Yeah, they're still That's trying awesome. to get they're in there. They're still trying to get, <laughs> it's like, cool. spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it starts on Saturday um, at 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. The entrance fee is a dollar from mm -hmm. 3 to 7 p.m. Like I said, all the proceeds go to whomever we decide to yes. help this year. Okay. We're going to... And, you know, it... it Guys, you can wear pink. Yes. Yeah, you can wear pink. Do they get a prize for wearing pink? Well, we have different prizes. Well, we have oh, different prizes, prizes. we're going to be giving out. Yes, there oh are prizes. Oh, my goodness, the good stuff. Yes. So um, make sure the guys berries. bring their wallets. Oh, okay. good. Club one. Bring the wallet. Yeah, bring the wallet. So we have a lot of different sponsors. Like That's I said, awesome. it's on Saturday from 3 to 7. On Sunday, it's from 4 to 7. Awesome. Admission fee, only a dollar. Four quarters. I mean, October is a big month. Breast yeah, cancer yeah. awareness yeah. is just, I mean, it's something that we need to continue to push. Yeah. Um, and so many of our family, friends, mothers, fathers end up going through and this. And so, babies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, congrats for kicking off this new season Thank of Wearing you. Pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to say a special shout out to Madison. Madison. Hey, Madison. Keep going, honey. She's fighting, and yeah. she's going to survive it. So after this, we've got more stew. You don't want to miss it. There might be some surprises for you guys, or there might not be. I don't know. But <laughs> we just want you to stick around. We'll be right Thanks. back. <laughs>
are watching this too. Man, has it been an awesome episode yes. or what? Yes. Truly loving these ladies. Yes. And you know what? Right now, we want to just take a quick moment to give a shout out to some of our social media fans. We can't, of course, elect everybody. So for now, we'll just say a quick shout out to Kenya Sweetie on Facebook, as well as, and I hope I say this correctly, a Chrysia on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> We'd right. recently yeah. asked the question, what is your favorite throwback song? And she responded that she enjoys Creep by TLC. And can I say I am feeling ha a thousand percent. Creep. Us ladies had the opportunity to hear a little bit of crazy, sexy, cool. Yeah. When we were picking out our fabulous outfits, by the Velvet Hanger. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank and they you. had TLC piping in the store. Yeah. So what is your favorite song from that album, ladies? Waterfall. Yeah, that's, don't, that's don't a classic chasing. indeed. But that album was just pure fire. It was. Mm -hmm. It really it was. was. Yeah, so, I miss them. Yeah. I really miss them I on know. the circuit. And God Sad. rest uh, Left, left eye. eye. Yep. Yeah. She was the girl. Rest I love that left eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you to our lovely guests. Yeah. We had Rika Cargill and Joya Archer Thank you, representing ladies. for Paint the Lanes Pink, Mario's ladies. Bowling. Yeah. The event happening this weekend, don't you miss it, a two-day event. And then, of course, they'll be kicking off their October mixes every Friday in October. And I think that's it for us, ladies. Yes. Yeah. Go check out the event. It's a good course. Oh, and it's Wednesday, so Friday we're going to pull out the bottles. That's just kidding. I, it's just a joke. I didn't want to sound I just that sound knew like a plan, she was going to go there. Oh, <laughs> we'll it's see a new season. Time. It's new Ness and Hill. <laughs> Thanks for watching this, too. See you later. Follow us on social media. We'll see you.